How's it going guys? Wandering Beast here. I hope you can hear me. I've got the AC fully cranked in the back. The truck is doing high idle. I've got the solar turned off so I can get most amps into the battery. However, I'm also realizing when I've got the huge AC system back there pumping, um, a lot of that power from my alternator is going to there. So right now I'm only charging at 7 amps. I'm currently at 230 uh, amp hours on each battery. Let me turn off the AC and just see what that does. Alright, AC off and instantly we we're cooking at 28 amps. So that should be able to get the truck charged fully here in short time and I'm gonna move the bus back into the sun. We're gonna test some solar. All right guys, while we let the batteries charge up, I wanna to talk to you about the experiment I did last weekend, the Adventure Van Expo. I was parked in the middle of a field, full solar, and years ago I bought one of those little Arctic Breeze, the little baby swamp coolers that pumps water into a screen in front of a fan that blows cooled air because the water is helping cooling it. It's a swamp cooler. Um, right before the trip I saw the as seen on TV Arctic Breeze had like a tower. It was a hundred bucks. So I decided what the heck. Let's do that. I've got a good power system. That thing only actually drew about 150 watts. 200 watts. It was a really fancy fan. And honestly I've got a way of checking my temperature. Currently right now it is 75 inside and 84 outside. Uh, it is 10 o'clock in the morning or 11, almost 11. And so things are starting to heat up. The bus is currently in the shade and I've been running the, the big AC that runs off the truck. That helps cool this thing down immensely. But then eventually it would just creep up and that Arctic breeze and the swamp cooler couldn't really keep up with the amount of heat that was coming in. I was in full sun, but that also meant I was getting full solar. I was still charging my batteries at like nine amps uh, running everything I needed to do in here. So my solar, there's two Bouge RV 170 panels um, and they're pulling in around 16 amps of full sun. So 16 amps is really good. Um, you can still charge a lot of stuff with that when the truck's not running. Now, obviously, if you guys remember the Renogy split system, when I do have the truck running, it splits up 25 amps, 25 amps from solar to truck charging. So right now, as you just saw, I killed the solar. So now I'm pumping 40 plus amps from the alternator into the battery. And that's gonna charge it very quickly. Now. Arctic Breeze didn't really work. Uh, if you guys follow the Nomadic guys with the Airstream, I'll try to find their video, put it in there. They tested out a larger unit, still did not pull a lot of amps uh, or watts, but right now because we're going into a heat wave, uh, that was all gone. So what I've done is I've picked up a cobalt battery powered fan that mists and pulls water out of a bucket. I have an idea to pull water out of my cooler. Stay tuned for that as well as I bought a small in-window unit. I was looking for 5,000 BTU, again, they were all sold out, so we got a 6,000, it's a Genie, I believe. And we're gonna plug that in today. I'm gonna pull the bus into full sun, so I'm getting full solar, and we're just gonna see how long this can do it and whether it can keep up. My last little project to do is I have um, insulated window panels, you know, just cheap Reflectix that I just kinda push into the windows, and I wanna build one for the front window. So I'm gonna get that done. I've got a, the rear AC all blocked off with foam and a way to exit the exhaust out the back. And yeah, stay tuned. Let's see if we can cool the bus down in the middle of summer without being plugged into shore power. All right guys, well, I didn't fully top off the batteries. They are at 236 amp hours, but it is noon right now and is 93 already outside. It is 77 inside because I had the bus AC going. Um, Solar is hooked back up. We're pulling eight amps per bank. So about 16 amps total, 15, 16 amps in full sunshine. Now let's see what happens when we turn on the inverter. All right guys, small little 6,000 in window unit. You can see I've got the pink foam. I'll show you outside in a second. I've got it sitting on pink foam as well as I'm using pink foam to push the window open. And it sounds like the compressor's kicking on. I'm still pulling five amps in from the solar due to the fan until that compressor kicks on and then we'll uh, we'll see what it does. Uh, extension cord run in the back. The only running, I do have the lights on because all the window covers are in and I do have the max air on kind of medium. I went ahead and uh, covered all the front windows and then as well as I'll probably put my sort of uh, blackout curtain just as a secondary layer. All right, just for posterity, 12.05, it is 93 degrees, it is 79 inside. 
and we're still pulling four amps charging from the solar currently until that compressor kicks in. All right, the cool thing about this setup, I did have sort of a stealth unit, I'll put in some photos, of uh, testing it yesterday with this hatch, but a lot of the air just blew underneath the bed and didn't really seem to cool the cab off. So today we're trying this back window, but you can't see anything with it blacked off. Of course, we've got a, this is an emergency window, so it's propped open with foam. Here's the back side of the unit. So it has lots of opportunity to get its hot air out. But the neat thing is that you don't have any gaudy generator running. There's no big hole in the wall where the AC unit's coming out. It's pretty low key right now. All right guys, it is 2.30, it's been two and a half hours. 100 degrees outside, we are at 82. I've got this temperature sensor somewhat forward here on the bus. This thing's still cranking along. But I will tell you, I can tell instantly where I don't have insulation. Like right now, on these corners, I haven't insulated it because I'm still running wires. Up here in the nose cone, I've not finished insulation or paneling and I can feel the heat coming in, creeping in here. This whole nose section is super hot. Again, the windows, I've got them double sealed with the blackout curtain. And then I didn't do anything along this wall. So, you know, you can feel things are warm. They're definitely warmer. If I stand here where I don't have any real insulation or paneling finished, it is definitely a lot hotter than if I just come two feet back here. One towards the AC, again towards better insulation. If I put my hand on this, it's not warm. Where if I do that on the other side, like you can feel the warmth creeping through the bus. So again, insulation is pretty key for even summertime. All right, pulling up. This is uh, one of the battery banks. We're just under 200 amp hours, if you can read that. Still pulling 24 amps, which total between both banks is about 50 amps draw. Um, if I pull up my Victron, you'll see that. So this says I can still do this for another five hours on this battery. Um, eight, it, it adjusts a little bit. But I figure 50 amps, 50 amp hours. Um, that's kind of what we're cruising at right now. We're still at 13.1 volts. And again, lights are going. Uh, max air fan, I may even just turn up as an experiment. See if we can't draw a little bit more hot air out of here. And of course the fridge, absolutely rock star. Ice Co, we'll have a separate review here coming up. But right side is a freezer. I still have a bag of ice in here. Absolutely flawless, love that thing. But this is definitely gonna be an experiment. We're gonna hit 100 plus degree weather and we are gonna be traveling on a trip. So stay tuned. All right guys, I meant to get back here sooner, but I am in full project mode doing other stuff. Um, 87 degrees, it's 20 after five, so this has been going almost for five and a half hours. It is 78 degrees inside. All right guys, as I was saying, it's uh, just after five, it's almost 5.30. I'm gonna stop doing house projects here and I promised my son I would go play in the pool with him. But I know to finish this off, so we're at five and a half hours of running this thing. Over 50 amps, non-stop. I'll come back and probably do an afterthought, but right now we are, we're down pretty good. Um, I'm at 86 amp hours left, running 30 amp hours off of this battery cell. That's alpha, let's just check beta real quick. 117 amp hours left on beta. Still pulling 30 amps. So, real quick, if I check Victron, Victron Smart Shunt says we're at 32%, pulling 55 amps total, almost over 700 watts, consumed 331 amp hours. Time remaining, I can pull this off for another hour and two minutes. I feel like that's pretty good. Um, we did have a storm kind of come through and I started getting shade on the bus. So I killed the solar so I didn't have any input coming in. So this has been 100% on just the batteries. Now, it would take a good amount to recharge that tomorrow by solar. Unless I was traveling and putting the full 40 amps back in the same four or five hours if I was on the road. So for five hours, I could recharge these batteries back to 100%. So it really depends on your camping style, whether or not it's a good offset. It feels really good in here, 
Um, I will say as I kind of walked around, I can tell already that this bus is not finished for insulation. Um, you can feel the heat coming in the corners and up front in the nose area is definitely uh, going to be an issue. But yeah, it was a pretty cool little lesson just to see if you could actually pull something like this off. Um, especially if you have pets that you're leaving. The nice thing is, at the beginning of this test it was in full sun. So knowing that I don't need to have any solar coming in to offset any power loss, only running 100% of the battery bank, I could find a nice shady spot and help augment the cooling of the bus so that I'm actually drawing less power off there. That would be an interesting test to do down the road. I know this is kind of a driveway test of power. Hope you found it interesting. It's definitely doable, guys. Um, the other thing is, uh, everything is cool. None of the wires have been hot. I've been checking them kind of constantly all day while I've been working on the kitchen remodel. And I'm pretty happy about it. I am going to try to find a way to kind of box this up carefully and take this on our next trip as, like I said at the beginning of the video, we're going to have several days of over 100 degrees and we may have to escape to the coast where it's going to be 70, but we have some specific spots that we want to stop that are going to just be some suffer fests. Um, so we may all be in the bus and the air conditioning um, in between kind of fun events. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. I will uh, stop blabbing. Take care and we'll see you down the road. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the adventure on social media and we'll see you on the road.